Hey guys, welcome back um, to another NFL rankings video. I'm sorry if you can hear all the crap going on behind me. Today I'm doing kickers and punters. Um, I was at first going to do just all special teams, you know, but then I um, but then I realized that I've already like looked at all the kick returners and everything. So I, I just decided I'm only going to do punters and kickers. If y'all want me to do all special teams in a separate video, let me know. Um, anyways, um, I think a lot of things, a lot of one of the things that people don't normally talk about um about kickers and punters um I guess no one really even talks about them normally is that they like their performance has a lot to do with the rest of the team I mean potentially um I mean really like kickers they could potentially well I guess it's punters could potentially not play at all you could have a team that either just scores on every drive or has turnovers on every drive or you could have a team that either has a turnover scores or goes for it on fourth down. They never punt, um, which I, has, has never happened. Um, as, far as, as far as I know, I don't even know if that's possible. Um, but kickers, I mean, potentially they're only they could only just do the kickoffs. Uh, and like I mean, the kickers, they're the way like they're really influenced by the rest of the team. You understand? All right. I mean, like I'm trying not to look at like. Because one of the stats I have down for punters is how many punts they've taken. I try not to look at that because that is the rest of their team, not them. All right, and dead last, number 32, we have the Giants all the way down with the worst um, kickers and punters. We got Aldrich Roses, um, who has 70%. Field goal rating, which is terrible, and only a nine, and only an eighty-nine percent extra point making, which is also terrible. He's only has seventy-one points. Um, I mean, that's also terrible. Their punter, um, his longest is only sixty-two. Um, the only good stat that he really has is that you know he has twenty-nine punts inside the twenty. And thirty-one. We have the Buccaneers, NFC starting off at the bottom. All right, we got Matt Gay and Bradley Pinion. Um, the first name I say is a kicker. Second name is um, the punter, um, Matt Gay. His longest was only 58. Um, uh, Bradley Pinion only 19 punts inside of um, the 20 on only a 43-yard average. All right, this is going to be one of my shorter videos, I think. And in 30th... We've got the Panthers. Um, I kind of I found the picture of Joey Sly, kind of you know bent over, because I mean they're at the bottom. He's just like seriously, guys. I mean technically Joey Sly he was their second string last year, but I mean he, if you watch him, he didn't seem to do that bad. But when you look at his stats, they're actually atrocious. Um, let me find him. I thought I saw him, but apparently I didn't. Um, he's only got a seventy-eight percent. Field goal percentage, I mean, his longest was 55, which is not that bad, only an 88% extra point percentage. Um, I mean, their kicker, I mean, their puncher, Michael Pilardi, his average is only 46, 62 long. They're, they're just, their special teams aren't really helping them. All right, in 29th, we've got the Dolphins, our first AFC team, the bottom three. We're full of NFC teams. One of the things I noticed whenever I was making this is that the very bottom and the very top was chock full of NFC teams, and all the AFC teams are basically thrown into the middle. Um, I mean, you'll see, and you'll be able to make that decision for yourself if you think that's true. Anyway, it's about the Dolphins. They've got Jason Sanders as a kicker and Matt Hack, H-A-A-C-K, as their punter. Um, Matt Hack only has a 45 average. I mean, Jason Sanders only a 76% field goal rating, 54 long. Uh, it's just, it's not very good. I am 28th, entering the really bad category. We've got the Jets, another AFC East team. We got Brett, Brett Maher as their kicker and Braden Mann as their punter. Braden Mann is actually a rookie, which is one of the reasons that they are not in 30th. Because, I mean... He only has a 47.1 average, which is pretty bad. Um, since he's a rookie, I couldn't get like, I couldn't get his long or how many were in 20. I can only get the number of punts and his average, which is which really hurts. I mean, and also like kickers, I could only get um, I couldn't get their long either. 
So, I mean, that kind of pushes things down. And Brett Maher, Brett Maher has a 66% field goal. That that alone drops them so much further down. They really should be in the 30s, but, I mean, it's just, it's just not very good. And it's pretty bad. 27th, we've got the Raiders. The Raiders are the bottom in a lot of these. The Raiders, let me find them. I've only got two pages. I don't know why it's so hard for me to find these people because I've only got two people written down. So, like the five. We got Daniel Carlson as their kicker and AJ Cole as their punter. Um, AJ Cole actually has 33 punts inside 20, which is pretty nice. I mean, Daniel Carson. Carlson, sorry, with a 94% extra point rating. I know that that's not very good, but it's better than a lot of these teams. I think the only one that was better was none of them, except for I think I think I think Jason Sanders may have. I don't know. All right, and I mean AJ Cole, his long is 74, and that's the AJ Cole is not very bad. AJ Cole is pretty good. He's not good, but I mean AJ Cole. Um, he, if I was just ranking the punters, they wouldn't be 27th. They'd be more towards the middle. They wouldn't be top league, but just saying, it's mainly um, Daniel Carl- Carlson that's hurting them here. And 26th, we've got the Chargers. I mean, we've got, look, look, we've got NFC South, AFC East, and now AFC West. I mean, it's just, dang. A lot of these teams are close together. I see it in other rankings, too. All right, so we got Michael Badley, ba- Badley um, as their kicker and Ty Long as their punter. Ty Long, only a 60 long. And one of the things that's holding him down is he only has 17 punts out of 48 that went inside the 20. That's that's one of the times I keep I get into account like the number of punts they have is like if they have a low number of punts inside the twenty then that probably means they have a low number of punts. And the Chargers, one of the things that is holding them up all the way to twenty six, which is still not good, but um, it's man, is the fact that Michael Badley had a hundred percent um extra point percentage, but. He only has 58 points, so that tells me they probably weren't kicking too many extra points with him. In 25th, we had the Texans. I wouldn't be surprised if we have another AFC North team up here soon with the way he's looking. But he, he's got 80% field goal percentage, only an 88% um, extra point percentage. Um, Brian Anger, their um, punter, only with a 46 average. Soon enough to get them above everyone else on this screen, and they're almost a below average. But here's what below average looks like. All right, in 24th, we have the 49ers all the way down here. I told you there's a lot of NFC teams just chucked on the bottom. Not on purpose. So we got Robbie Gold as their kicker and Mitch Wisnowski as their punter. A lot of these people have weird names because, you know, a lot of them are, like, from other countries where they played soccer. So, I mean, a lot of the, not a lot of people play soccer here. I, used, I, I, I still do, but I'm not very good at it. I'm a more of a basketball man myself. It's weird because I play basketball, but I don't. I know next to nothing about the NBA. Like I know all the rules. I could watch a game of basketball and understand it, but I don't know much players or anything. It's weird. All right, the 49ers. Let me explain myself. Um, Robbie Gold only had a 74% field goal rate, for, field goal percentage. Mitch Wisnowski only a 44 average punt. I'm disappointed, guys. 23rd, we've got the Seahawks. I told you. I mean, it's, it's just, it looks like it's just two of the same division over and over again. Two NFC at West right there. I'm not doing it on purpose. <sighs> Anyways, Seahawks, we've got Jason Myers as their kicker and Michael Dixon as their punter. Michael Dixon does have 34 kicks inside the 20. Um, Jason Myers, I mean, he's got a 90% extra point completion, which is bad, but again, I mean, it's good for the teams that we've seen. I'm surprised with the number of kickers that have under 90% extra point. I mean, that's insane. That's like every 10 touchdowns, you're missing like one or two. That's that's not good. 
All right, and I mean Michael Dixon only a 45 average. So I guess it's pretty average. 22. We've got the Chiefs, the two. We got the Super Bowl champions. Apparently, their kickers are below average. Um, let's see why. It's because they got Harrison Bucker as their kicker and Tyler Newsom as their punter. Who Tyler Newsom only had seven punts last year. He had a 42 average on those punts. Um, and like that, that's the main thing I take into account here because no matter how many little punts you take, you can always look at the average and compare that with every single other average and still being fair. Now, I know it's harder whenever you have more punts to it's harder when you have like 50 punts to maintain a good average um, than it is when you have seven punts which is why I'm surprised that he has such a bad average with only seven punts and also that tells me that if he he is their starting punter as of now he's gonna go from seven punts to a, a lot of punts and I know um, that doesn't do much of a difference but I mean that's still going to make I mean he's going to be worse than if he had played all of last year of course all right let me find the Chiefs. All right, and Harrison Bucker, um, only a 56 long, which I guess would still has not much to do with him. He does have 147 points, though, which is either second or the most out of any kicker. All right, just out of top 20, we have the Cowboys. All right, we're finally trying to, we're finally getting away from, like, the same division. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. I'm going by their stats. On the division, we got Greg Zerline as their kicker, and we got Chris Jones as their punter. Greg Zerline only a 72% field goal percentage, but he does have a perfect 100% extra point percentage. Um, 58 long, which again is not his fault. We got Chris Jones, who is very, very subpar. 50 punts for a 41 yard average, which is worse than the Chiefs punter. Um, his long is 58, which I guess is okay, but he only has 18 punts inside the 20. Their punter is holding them down a lot. If their punter was on par with their kicker, they would be a lot higher. And 20th, we've got the Patriots. You can see their punter right here. I know it's not. I know it's their punter because their kicker is a rookie. I don't know the names because I can't find them. All right, we got Justin Rohrwasser. Roar, Rohrwasser. Um, who had an 85% field goal percentage and a 97% um, extra point percentage, and he is a rookie. Um, I remember because everyone was freaking out because everyone thought they were going to take a, you know, a quarterback, which would be the smart move. But no, they got a kicker, and everyone. And we got Jake Bailey, their punter. He's got a 45 average, which is I guess is okay. Um, he does have 36 punts inside the 20. Their punter, I mean, Jake Bailey is one of the. Is, pretty much holding this special teams up and i have a feeling the next year their punter is going to be used a lot all right and we got the broncos with brandon mcmanus as their kicker and sam martin as their punter um sam martin is not half bad i mean he's got his longest is 62 um he's got 31 inside the 20 out of 76 which tells me that he like a half like like every Two punts he does. One of them is going to be inside the twenty, which is pretty good. Uh, Randy McManus. He's gotten. He, he. This is the first one that we've got like pretty okay field goal and extra point percentage. We got eighty five percent field goal percentage and a ninety six percent extra point percentage. We haven't. We're yet to see a. I think we're yet to see a ninety percent field goal percentage. They, those are like surprisingly rare. Moving on to 18, I and mean, keep in mind, we are at average, so, I mean, these aren't bad. These aren't good. We've got the Ravens. All right. I think we've officially, I don't know what that was. I think we've officially escaped from the um, same division um, place. we got the Ravens. we got Justin Tucker as their kicker and Sam Kosh as their punter. And this, I mean, this is the first instance that we've had. Of two, I mean they've got he's got a 96% field goal percentage and a 96% extra point percentage. Hey, I mean that's that's okay. That's not bad. 
All right, I mean that's good. That's good. That's great. Um, he only does he he only has a fifty one long, and one of the reasons the only reason that I really take that into account is because if your longest is pretty far back, that tells me that you're probably taking more farther back kicks. I know because as I live in North Carolina, I watch a lot of Panthers games. That's the only ones that come on my TV. Um, I mean Graham Gano of two years back, he had the longest kick, in the I think he had like the second longest kick ever. And he was making long kicks all year long. And so the fact that he only has um, his longest, he's only 51 yards, tells me that he's taking a lot of short kicks, which isn't necessarily bad, but it does say that he might be worse at kicks from farther out. And Sam Kosh, um, he's not that bad either. He's got 21 inside the 20. All right. And you can make an argument that they're higher. All right, and the 17th. We've got the Colts without Adam Vinatieri. They're probably they're probably much better off now than they were with Adam Vinatieri. They got Chase McLaughlin, 78% um, field goal percentage, 100% eh. extra point percentage though. I mean, 80 points. Uh, we got the Rigoberto Sanchez, um, 44 average, which I guess is meh, and 22 inside the 20. So, I mean, it's a formidable opponent. I mean, there's a reason that they're almost above average. All right, so now entering above average, we have got at number 16, the Browns. Hello there, Browns. How are you feeling? And the Browns, they got Austin Seibert as their kicker and Jamie Gilligan as their punter. Um, Jamie Gilligan with a 71 long punt. Um, that's uh, that's above average. That's pretty good. Um 46 average, that's again, that's pretty good. Um, Austin Seibert, their kicker, though, only with an 86 field goal percentage and an 85% extra point percentage. Um, th I mean, that field goal percentage isn't necessarily bad, but the fact that he only has an 85% extra point percentage is really holding him down. Um, and his longest is only 53, so he's not doing very good inside 50, is what it looks like to me. And then at number 15, we have the Titans... All right, we got Greg Joseph as their kicker, and I'm pretty sure he only played in the um, what's it called? I'm pretty sure he only played in the playoffs last year, and I mean, he only he only had to kick nine extra points, and he made all of them, which tells me, I mean, he's obviously formidable. Um, I can't judge him too much off of this, and so I really just, I kind of forgot about him, because, I mean, he's only got, he's got a 0% field goal percentage, because, you know, they didn't shoot to kick any that I know of, and if they did, that's, like, missing one field goal when it's your first NFL field goal is, I mean, that that's kind of unfair, Um, and then we, so I mainly look at their punter, Brett Kern, who had a 47 average, which is okay, a 70 long, which, again, is pretty good, and out of 78 punts, he had 31 seven inside the 20. So what I saw was a kicker who technically hit every single one of the kicks that he's had and a punter who is pretty good, and I stuck that at 15. And at 14th, we've got the Bears. All the way up here, everyone's forgotten about the double boink. <laughs> I've forgotten what it's called. That's, everyone's going to forget about that in the next couple years. Um, I hope they don't. All right, just because you know it's funny. We got Eddie Pinheiro as their kicker and Pat O'Donnell as their punter. Um, Pat O'Donnell, um, their punter with he got a seventy-five long, which is pr uh, good. It's good. That, that, that I, I'm about to say pretty good. That is a good punt. Um, their kicker though, um, only an eighty-two percent field goal percentage. Uh, 53 long also tells me that, I mean, he's not doing very good from short. And 13th, just outside of good, we've got the Falcons. All the way up here, really? Wow. Falcons, we've got Young Hoku, Ryan Allen. Young Hoku is their punter, not punter, kicker, and Ryan Allen is their punter. Um, Ryan Allen, out of 28 punts, had 14 inside the 20, which is great. Um, he only has a 59 long, which is bad. Um, Young Hoku does have an 88% field goal percentage, although that is with a 50 long, but I mean, I mean, whatever. 
13th it is. And in 12th, starting out with the good category, we have the Eagles with Jake Elliott as their kicker and Cameron Johnson as their punter. Um, Jake Elliott, I mean, 84%. Field goal percentage, 94%. Extra point percentage, 53 long. Cameron Johnson, um, only 28 inside the 20, 61 long. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong, but it's not top 10 good. Speaking of top 10, right outside of the top 10, almost making it. You almost did it, buddy. But the Lions are unfortunately on the outside looking in on this one with an 83% field goal percentage. Um, they do have a 97%. Um, uh, what's it called? Extra point percentage. This is, of course, Matt Prater. Forgot to say that. They have a rookie punter in Jack Fox. Um, he had a 45.5 average and a 76 long, which is pretty good. So, I mean, he's a rookie, and he's got pretty good stats. So, I mean, and, like, punters, they, they um, they probably are going to play pretty much the same in the NFL as they do in college. You know, they're going to get... They're, they're, of course, going to play a little different. But, I mean, with wide receivers, they're playing going from playing against college um, cornerbacks to NFL cornerbacks. And, I mean, quarterbacks are going going to the same thing. Um, cornerbacks, of course, are going up against NFL wide receivers. But punters, they're, I mean, they're still just punting. All right, and then in the top ten, We've got the Saints. You can see Will Lutz, I think. Yeah, Will Lutz up here kicking for them. Um, and that, of course, is their kicker. And Thomas Morstead is their punter. Thomas Morstead with a 64 long, which is bad. Um, 46 average, which is pretty average. I mean, their punter is nothing special. Will Lutz, though, I mean, 88% field goal percentage and a 98% extra point percentage. Um, 58 long, too. I mean, you can't complain about Will Lutz. He is one of the better kickers in the league. It's just, you know, their punter is, I would say, below average. All right, in ninth, we've got the Bills all the way up here. Um, the Bills, of course. Let me find them. They've got a, they've got Steven Ahoshka with only a 78% field goal rating. I'm surprised that he made it this high up, top nine. Um... And a 93% extra point rating, which, again, is pretty bad. It's just because, you know, their kicker is pretty good. I mean, 79 punts. He does have 34 inside the 20. His long is just 67. They're pretty good. You can make an argument for them to be worse. You could also make an argument for them to be better. All right. <laughs> I waited so long. I'm a Redskins fan. I waited so long. Refrain from putting a picture of a Redskins player on here. Because, you know, just because. But, I mean, I decided, you know what? I should be proud. He's the only player of ours that went to the Pro Bowl. All right, now in eighth, we have the Rams all the way up here. We have the Rams with Samuel Sloman, who is a rookie. Um, He had a 97% extra point rate um, and 86% field goal rate. Um, Johnny Hecker, of course, their punter. Um, he broke the record for, I think, the longest punt in Super Bowl history. And, um, you know, that the most boring Super Bowl ever. Man, I, w I wish, I mean, I only started watching football in 2016. I wish that I had, um, you know, started watching the year after that, you know, like last year or something. Because that, that was a boring Super Bowl. I mean, it feels so bad whenever you go all year, I mean, just waiting for the big game, and then it sucks. I mean, that's it. That's what the whole season has been about. And it's just, it's terrible. And in seventh, you got the Bengals. Bengals, they've been surprising me in these ratings. I think I may have done them dirty. I mean, they've got Randy Bullock as their kicker. Um, he only had an 87% field goal rating. Um, did have a 96% extra point rating, though. 105 points scored by him. Kevin Huber as the punter. Um, 75 punts. It's only 65 um, long, but he did have 30 inside the 20. And a 45 average. Puts them at 7. Just outside of the top 5. You almost made it, buddy, but you did not make it. We've got the Cardinals. How could they do this all the way up here? we got Zane Gonzalez as their kicker. And then Andy Lee as their punter. Andy Lee, 61 punts and 21 inside the 20, which is pretty good. And a 48-yard average. That is really good. That is that's just one of the best. Congratulations, Andy Lee, a good punter. 
Um, Cardinals Zangon Gonzalez Zang God God. They're they kicker. Um, I can't talk today. Um, he only had a 54 long, but he did have 88 percent field goal um percentage, which is pretty good. And I mean, a 97 percent extra point rating is nothing to get crazy about, but it's pretty it's pretty nice. You'd want a kicker with at least that. All right. And then we got the Vikings starting off at the top five. Um, the Vikings, they got Dan Bailey as their kicker and Britton Colquitt as their punter. Britton Colquitt, of course, with a 59 long, which is bad. I always like, go like, whoa, 59. Mm. Dan Bailey with a 93% field goal percentage. That's that's pretty good. Um, 54 long, too, isn't half bad. Um, I mean... <laughs> this is where they go. All right, outside is the fourth. I, that doesn't make any more sense to me as it did to you. I don't understand why I said that. We've got the Redskins, my team, um, with the best punter. Um, that, that's the one thing that we can be proud of that everyone else agrees on. I mean, we're proud of a lot of stuff. I feel like we have a good wide receiver. I'm not going to get into that. All my videos on that. This is the one thing. Everyone knows that Trest Way is a good punter. He was a Pro Bowl punter. Um, you know how um, everyone was talking about how um, the, what's it called, the Madden champion this year won it only running? Guess who was their quarterback? Tress Way. <laughs> Let me talk about him, you know, not hype him up. Tress Way had a 79 line, which was number one in the league last year. He also had a 50-yard average, which was by far number one in the league. Um... He had 79 punts, 30 of which were inside the 20, which is pretty good. All right. And, I mean, their kicker isn't bad either with Dustin Hopkins. He 83% field goal rating, and he's also got 95% extra point rating. So, I mean, that's pretty average um, in a 53 long. So, I mean, really, if their kicker was – I mean, their kicker's definitely above average, but, I mean, if their kicker was really good, number one spot easily. All right. And in third – We've got the Steelers. Sorry, I thought I was something behind me. I'm a very paranoid boy. I like horror movies. Right, we got Chris Boswell as their kicker and Jordan Berry as their punter. Um, Jordan Berry, 69 long, which is pretty good. Um, 74 punts, 24 instead of the 20. And that's, that's that's what it is. Chris Boswell. Um, Chris, this, this is the Chris Boswell is a pretty dang good kicker. Um, 93% field goal rating, which is above and beyond, and a 100% extra point rating. This guy is, like, right now, out of all the kickers we've seen, this is the guy I want on my team. And, I mean, their punter is pretty good, too. That's why, you know, he's in third. These are top-notch. It would be hard to beat them, but it does look like the Packers did. Let's see how they did it, ladies and gentlemen. Mason Crosby is their kicker, 91% field goal rating and 97% extra point rating. That is also pretty good. I mean, that's pretty freaking good. He's got 54 long. I mean, J.K. Scott, their punter, um, he's got a 44 average and 66 long, which is pretty good. Um, out of 77 punts, he's got 29 inside the 20, which, again, is pretty good. So, I mean, you can make an average that you could – you can make an argument that you could flip-flop these two. I honestly just think the Packers are better. And the number one kicker and punter. This is it. I mean, if you see this punt, punter about the punt, you better have your punt returner 50 yards away. If you see this kicker about to kick a field goal, you better get ready to block him or else he's going to score. Yeah, it's the Jaguars. What the heck? <laughs> I put the Jaguars up here? Oh, I see why now. 97% field goal rate? I mean, the percentage, that is insane. 97%. I mean, looking at all the ones we've had right now, 97% field goal percentage? That's insane. Nine, and I mean, 95% extra point is pretty good, too. I mean, they've got a 56 long. Dang. I mean, this man, like Josh, uh, Josh Lambeau, by the way, that's pretty good. Let's look at their kicker. Logan Cook is their punter. Um, 49, 47 average. I mean, that's pretty freaking good. 66 long, that's also pretty average, and 25 inside the 20 out of 75. So, 
That's like every three punts is inside the 20. I mean, that that that's by far number one right there. I mean, you want this special. I mean, right now, what you want to have is Josh Lambeau as your kicker and Tress Way as your punter. That That's what you want to happen. All right? Dang, I never even heard of Josh Lambeau until I made these rankings. See, what a good thing is I always make the rankings, like, at least a day before I record the video. So that way it's kind of like a little surprise for me, too. Okay? Um, I don't know if that's good or bad for the video quality. But I don't really give a crap. Um, no one watches them anyways. No one's going to hear me say this. I could say whatever I want. I could start cussing. <laughs> I could be really racist. Not that I'd want to. Anyways... Thank you. If you are watching until now, you are amazing. Um, I want to give you a hug because no one watches my full videos. Usually it's like three minutes. But hey, that's really cool. <laughs> um, follow my Twitter. It should be down below. Um, let me know if I should stream on Twitch or anything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Probably not, though. Goodbye. Dang, 31 minutes. That's pretty good. Won't you take me home?